Yesterday I went to my doctor's appointment. Um, he was happy with my results. I think I've explained this before, I'm not too sure, but he was happy with my tests and all my results. The only thing that he was worried about was the stress. Um, like he said, I need to start doing different things. There was this thing up on the wall that said, you know, to deal with, how to deal with stress, what to do to minimise that stress. It said, join a club, join a sports club, join a meeting club, go out, meet new people. Um, you know, it's just things like that where you're out and doing things to occupy your mind. Uh, that might be alright for some, but what if that's the problem to begin with? I'm stressed out that I don't want to go and join a club. I'm a member of the local RSL already. Um, I don't want to join a sports club. I'm not into sports. I've got weak ankles. I get hurt. Meeting people. Well, I've gone out and met people. I see different people every day, even up at the school. I'm meeting new people on here. Still having conversations with them daily as well, so... I don't know. But anyway... Um, where my doctor used to be, they've transferred him here so that way he'll be closer to all of his patients and try to see them all on one day. The Good Samaritans, they're like a charity group, have offered out one of their rooms to the doctor and said, listen, you can come here whenever you want, use this room and see your patients. Well, the room, <laughs> it's not exactly a building. What happened was it's an old museum of some kind where um, they had old trains, and I mean like really old trains, and they converted them into buildings. And that is what we were on and what we're at. I took a couple of photos, I wanted to do a recording, but too much noise in the background and I was having problems with my built-in camera. But I thought I'll quickly throw on the pictures and um, show you all. I thought LSD might be interested in this as well, again, being an old train. As far as I know, it's um, a train that was used here in Australia, I think maybe in the early 1900s. Maybe early to mid-1900s, even. 